The SPFL transfer window may be closed, but that hasn't stopped some big moves happening in Scottish football. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Football. And there's been some big moves regarding some big players. Kyle Lafferty, Georges Giamakis, and some unknown guy who apparently plays midfield for Celtic, Yudaguchi, has also been loaned out. Let's start with the man of the moment. Let's start with Kel Lafferty. Kel off at 35 years old he made a decision to leave Kilmarnock it was like a mutual decision but at the end of the day he was the one that chose to leave Derek McKenzie has even come out and said he was surprised it was a decision between Lafferty and the club, McKenzie's came out and said he didn't really know anything about it. And now Kyle Lafferty has decided to join Linfield. Well, he will link up with his former teammate at both Rangers and Northern Ireland, David Healy, who is the current Linfield manager. So, strange move in my opinion. Very strange move indeed. I thought Kyle Lafferty would have played a big part in keeping Kelly up this season as they find themselves in a surprising uh, relegation battle. Let's be honest, I thought Kelly would have had more than enough to stay away from the bottom of the table. It hasn't really been the case so far this season. As we know, Kyle Lafferty did have a 10-match ban. He's not long back from that. And I expected that Kyle Lafferty would play a big part in the second half of the season for Kelly, but it's not going to be the case. He's left now. He's went to Linfield. Standard of football in Northern Ireland is really, really poor. And we know Lafferty has travelled. He's, he's, he's got around quite a lot. He's probably the only, he's, up, he's up there with clubs in terms of Tony Watt. The guy has had a lot of football teams. But I've got a feeling that this may be his last. I, I, I'm not saying he'll stay with Linfield. But I don't see another big move for Kyle Lafferty. Now that he is you know, taking the jump. To the, to the Northern Irish League. I, I think this will be Kelly Lafferty's last, at least Kelly should be his last big top flight league club. And I, I'm not saying Scottish League's top flight, but you get my point. You know, this guy's been in Italy, this guy's been in England. I don't see him coming back from a move to Linfield. I think he'll either maybe see out his career in uh, Northern Ireland or perhaps, yeah, move around from non-Irish club to non-Irish club or, or something like that. But I don't see Kel Lafferty now at the age of 35 ever coming back in you know, joining up in a, another big Scottish club. I just don't see it. Or uh, UK in general, I don't see him going to the Championship or anything like that. However, before Lafferty did leave, he had a lot of praise for Derek McKenzie. And he came out and he says, Derek McKenzie reminds him of Walter Smith. He says that McKenzie is second to Walter Smith and that he had regret that he couldn't help and uh, stay and help keep Derek McKenzie's Kilmarnock up. So, I mean, a bit of a strange one. If he wanted to help, then why didn't he? I don't quite understand it. If, if he's so gutted to be leaving Derek McKins behind, if, if Kyle Lafferty thinks so much of Derek McKins, then, you know what, why not stay to the end of the season? Why not help keep Kilmarnock in the top flight? But yeah, closing thoughts, he says that he rates him right next to Walter Smith. Quote, Walter was Walter. No one comes close, but from what I experienced with Derek, he knew how to get the best out of me. Like Walter, he showed so much faith in me and I wanted to run through brick walls for him. We were climbing up the table this season and he deserves success. End of quote. Are Kelly really climbing up the table this season? In my opinion, they've always they've been disappointing. From what I've seen, they've always been running down about the bottom. You know, we've, we've not really failed we failed to see them make any sort of, you know, approach for a, a top half finish, and they ain't going to get that now. So if Kelly can stay up, if they can manage to avoid the drop, then I think that will be a decent season for Kelly now, based on the fact where they are. Uh, I think a lot of people thought they top six ambitions, but I think we can all accept now that they just don't have a good enough squad for that. They're not playing at that sort of level this season, so if they can stay in the league, then great. But whatever. Kel Laffey has left the club. Moving on now to Georges Giamakis, a player who, unlike Kel Laffey, doesn't have a lot of praise for his former manager, that being Ange Postacoglu. Looked like Ange and Giamakis just didn't really get along, and uh, the relationship definitely deteriorated in the month of January, uh, especially with Ange saying that I'm sure you'll hear about Giamakis' new club on Instagram before I do. I don't think Ange really liked the whole, you know, um, Giamakis Instagram rants and doesn't strike me as the kind of person that would enjoy that. But he has now left. He's joined Atlanta 
in America, so we'll move to the MLS for Giacomakis. And it'll be interesting to see how he gets on in a deal that could potentially rise up to 4.3 million. 4.3 million is not it's not the end of the world, in my opinion. It's a pretty, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, it's expected that Celtic will get three point five million up front with a further eight hundred thousand in add-ons. So I mean, it's not bad. Celtic have marginally made a profit on Giamakis, and I guess that's uh, considering you're getting a player that's what twenty eight years old. Celtic have got him for a year and a half, and now they're selling him on. So and they've not took a loss in that, and he's contributed quite a lot of goals to Celtic as well. So I wouldn't say it's a bad piece of business. Could Celtic have got more from potentially? I think maybe they could have got around about six million, seven million. I don't think you would get much more than that, but I think they could have got more than they did. So yeah, maybe they will not be happy with that. And also, either Gucci has left. Left on loan for a year. Ida Gucci just ha his Celtic career just hasn't happened. You know, I, I feel like he deserves a chance, but realistically, he's just not going to get one. He's been lost in the pecking order, and it's just you know, even if he stays at Celtic, he's just not going to get any game time. So maybe his best chance of having a Celtic career is this loan move away. Hopefully, if he can go and find form, maybe he can come back to Celtic one day, rejuvenated, and who knows, maybe he'll get an opportunity down the line. But let's be real, he's not going to get an opportunity right now. No, so I think a loan move for him is the um, the best idea. And Alfredo Morelos had a big offer from Konospur knocked down. Konospur, apparently the Turkish transfer deadline is on the 8th of February. And they had a big a big move planned for Alfredo Morelos, but Rangers turned it down, opting to keep the striker who is out of contract at the end of the season. So who knows? Do Rangers hope that Alfredo will sign a new contract? Or do Rangers just think that Alfredo could play a major role from now to the end of the season? I'm not too sure. It wasn't that long ago where Rangers were ex expecting to get big money for Morelos. I think maybe those days have passed, but who knows? Maybe Alfredo finds his form then perhaps he will pen a new deal and stay at Rangers and Rangers could be looking at a similar situation to Celtic where they had two strikers wanting to be number one Celtic had Kyogo and Giamakis who knows maybe Rangers soon will have Morelos and Cholak because since Cholak's arrival Cholak was number one because Morelos wasn't really fit as soon as Morelos started getting fit Cholak started getting injured so we've yet to see really Morelos and Cholak be available at their peak at the same time so it could be interesting we might get to see that soon we might see who Michael Beale really thinks is the number one at Rangers but that's it guys in terms of news so Morelos is staying Ida Gucci's away Giamakis is away and Kyle Lafferty has pretty much just killed his career by going to the Northern Irish League and he also thinks that Derek McKins is as good as Walter Smith if that's the case then why the fuck would you leave him I don't know let me know your thoughts down below guys I'll catch you in the next one. Until then, Beanfall Football. Thanks for watching and peace.